Hi guys, I'm Marco, we are uh, on board of Ariel uh, 21.7S and I'm going to show you how to tune your, uh, your mast and your rig. So the first thing you will need are meter, tape, the black tape and the harness which will be used in order to, to check if your, your mast is centered correct. So come with me. So the first thing you, you want to do is to set up a zero, uh, a reference point on your high shrouds, which will be used to compare the, uh, the balance of your, of your mast uh, if, and to check if it is centered correctly uh, on your boat. So we are going to take the main sheets, here it is, and I'm going to, to hang myself through the harness. I'm doing this because I want to replicate the same tension uh, port side the starboard uh, in order to have the zero point exactly the same on the two sides of the boat. So in this way by hanging myself like this I'm sure that here I always apply 7 to 2 kilos. So how to proceed? I'm going to take a mark on my halyard here and on the main shrouds like this. So these two points are aligned. So when I move on the other side of the boat, like this, I can replicate the same point with my weight. So now that we have two setup points, just a second. Now that we have these two points, we can start to measure the distance of these two points from the deck. So if I have the same measure from this point to the deck on this side and on the other side, I'm sure that my mast is correctly centered. So taking the point, I measure this length and I will measure the same distance on the other side. Of course, if there is a difference, I will use the turnbuckle to adjust by easing and tightening alternatively the two turnbuckle and going to adjust the centering of the mast. And this is just to center the mast. Now, there are also two other measure, measures which are important, are the rake and the prebend. So how to measure the rake? The rake, uh, for those who don't know, is, the, is how the tip of, uh, of your mast is pointing backward or frontward. So, using the main sheet, if you apply a weight to the sheet, you will be able to have a sort of, uh, of uh, reference point uh, to, to see what, what is the, um, the different position uh, of the tip of the mast. So now there is some wind, uh, we, we won't be able to see really uh, what, is the, what is the size, but uh, for, in my case, for my boat, is about 20 centimeters, the rake. And before I had a, a rake of 40 centimeters, uh, and well, actually it was too much, uh, and the boat was uh, always pointing uh, into the wind. Now with this, uh, this size, uh, this measure, uh, the boat is much more balanced. Uh, to correct the rake, what you have to do is to, um, in case you want to, to move, to reduce the rake, so moving the top of the, of the mast forward, uh, what you have to do is to decrease the, the length of the forestay. Uh, if you have a turnbuckle on the forestay like I do, you just need to, of course, uh, screw in the, the turnbuckle, or if you have uh, the plate and the pin, you will need to decrease of, uh, of one, one hole the, the pin. Uh, of course, 
course, doing this uh, you also have to ease a little bit the high shrouds, otherwise you won't be able to, to reduce the, the rain. Uh, the second measure you, you want to check on your boat is the pre-bend. The pre-bend is how the, the, the mast is bending and the pre-bend usually depends on the design of the mainsail and the condition of the wind. So in my case I started with a pre-bend of about uh, 15 to 20 centimeters uh, but now I, I found uh, a better uh, measure to be about 10 to 15 centimeters depending the, the wind condition. How to measure your pre-bend? So you still need the main halyard. You are going to fix it here at the boom and you tighten it a little bit, well more than a little bit. Now you will need to press the rope, the main sheet on the mast and if you look to the top you will see at the, at the shrouds that the main sheet is not actually touching the, the mast like here but it has some distance this distance measures the pre-bend in my case you can see it's about 10 centimeters for today where we have 10 uh, to 11 knots of wind. To increase your pre-bend you just need to increase the load on the top shrouds. Here it is. Um, in, this, in this way you will press down the mast so the mast will bend. Um, about the tension I don't have uh, a, a probe to measure the, the tension. I actually go a little bit by eye, by feeling. I can tell you that, for example, today, where we had about 10 notes, uh, my uh, leeward shrouds are never, never slack. So always a little bit tight. The low uh, shrouds are just uh, uh, tight enough in order to not be slack. Hmm? Uh, the last thing you want to see on your boat is if the mast is correctly pulled uh, from the from the shrouds from both sides. How you do that? Staying here, well, we don't need the, the nail at the moment. Staying here, you want to to look through this this channel here to the top. If you see that the, the mast is uh, uh, turning uh, right or left, it means that uh, one shroud is pulling too much. You can basically see from here the, the design of the, uh, of the mast. And you can see also the pre-bend. So guys, this is it. Uh, have fun with your, your firsts.